Hi, are you tired of spending hours crafting presentations that don't impress your audience? In this video tutorial, we will show you how to do it using Tom AI presentation tool. This is part 4 of multi-part tutorial on Tom app. The links to prior parts are provided in the description. First, let us look at few important settings you need to be familiar with by logging on to Tom application. You can access settings by clicking on your name here. Here you can see we have settings and then we have logout and then we have Tom for iOS. So settings is it will show us further settings and you just if you want to log out you use this logout button and if you want to get Tom for iOS application you click on this and then you get a QR code and then you can use this QR code to download the iOS application for Tom that you can access on Apple phone or an iPad. Let us click on the name again and then click on the settings to further explore what settings we have here. When you are here, you can click on the name. It will show your account details. Here it is showing your name, your email address and the language that you are using. And then it has details about your team here. And this is your workspace name. Click on your workspace name to see further details about the workspace. Here you see your workspace name, super. In this case, that is my workspace name. And here is the workspace URL. And here you have logo and Tom branding. If you want to use these features, logo and Tom branding, you need to upgrade to your subscription to pro level. Click on members in order to manage members. Here you will see the members that are part of your team. You can also invite new members from this place. You can just type it in the email of the person that you want to invite and then click on the invite button. Then we can click on the plans. It is going to show us the plans that are available with Tom. Here you see we have a free version and this will give you 500 AI credits. If you exhaust those credits, then you should upgrade to pro version. That will cost you $8 per month provided you have yearly subscription. Here we can see whether it is yearly subscription or monthly subscription. And this $8 per month is if you subscribe for an year. Suppose you want to do monthly subscription, we can switch to monthly subscription. Here it is showing $10 per month if we go for the monthly subscription. So in this we have unlimited credits and then we have additional options to export to PDF. We can export the Tom that we have generated to a PDF file with the free version. We will not be able to do that and we will be able to do additional steps like remove Tom branding and we'll be able to add custom logos and we will get priority support once we switch to pro version. And also we have an enterprise version that is suitable for big companies. And when an enterprise want to purchase this plan, they need to contact Tom in order to get the pricing details. You can click on these notifications now. It will show all the notifications that you have been receiving from Tom application. This is the notification area. And then you can click on this recent button. It will show the recently viewed Tom applications. Then we have the personal option. So it will show your personal Tom applications here. And we have shared with me option. These are the Toms that have been shared with you. If you have a team where other people are sharing Toms with you. When they share the Tom application, you will be able to see them here. And this is my workspace name. Then we can click on this deleted. It will show us recently deleted Tom applications. You'll be able to invite members from here by clicking this invite teammates and we can enter the email address and then click on this invite. If you are using a free version here, it will display you the number of available AI credits for you. And if you want to upgrade and get unlimited credits, you can click on this get unlimited credits. And then you will be taken to the plans page. Other thing we want to know is how to access help. That can be done by clicking on this question mark. So here I have this options getting started guide, help and support guide, contact Tom if you need Tom support. And then if you want to schedule a personal tour, we can do that also. Let me click on getting started guide. Here you can go through this document. It will tell you how to use Tom, what are the contents. Let me go through and click exit here. To exit out of this help and uh, in the same way we will look at the second option help and support guide here we have more details about the workspace what you can do in the workspace and we have 
extra fidelity what does it mean is we can have our voice recorded for the tom presentation we can record a video narration for the presentation and it is showing what tiles we have add and edit images add and edit videos create and format a table and what embeds we can have and it will have an explanation about each embed and how you can use themes and how you can customize so it will have details about that so once you are done we can exit out of this for any reason if you want to contact tom support we can use this one or you can type in your message and get response let me close this out and lastly if you want to schedule a personal tour we can click on this schedule a personal tour and here you can select a date and time to schedule the personal tour it's a 20 minute personal tour from tom so someone will assist you with that once you schedule the date and time some person from tom will schedule a zoom call with you let me close this out we can create a presentation by clicking on this create icon a prompt bar will appear at the bottom so that you can type in your prompt tom also provides you a prompt guide on tips to create effective prompts we we'll scroll up here we we'll see here prompt writing tips you select that and tom will give you tips for creating efficient prompts i will exit out of this one now let us create a presentation clicking on this create button i have copied my prompt and i'm going to paste it here i have pasted my prompt my prompt says design a presentation showing the latest technological advancements in the automobile industry i hit enter now initially the tom will generate an outline if i am satisfied with the outline i can click on the continue button the outline looks okay to me it says first slide the future of the automotive industry second slide electric cars the future is here third slide autonomous vehicles the next big thing fourth slide innovative safety features fifth slide sustainable manufacturing processes sixth slide the future is bright i hit continue here we can see that tommy is generating the slides so here we have our eight slides generated by tom let us look at couple of tile settings that were not covered in the previous videos in order to do that we click on this plus sign and we will look into the tile setting of giphy and we will look into the tile setting of airtable in order to work with the giphy tile setting let us add a new page here i will say giphy tile example click on this plus sign drag and drop giphy into my slide now it is saying paste giphy link now i log on to the giphy website you are probably familiar with the giphy web website where you have the gifs have been created for you they can be used for free let me select one of the gif images i like this one i want to get this gif image into the tom presentation slide what i can do is i can copy this link here it says link copy to clipboard i come to my tom presentation slide where i want to use the giphy link here i can paste my url you can see i got my giphy here and there are few more settings that i can make for this gif image right now it is the size is set to fit i can say change it to fill or i can say use custom setting and in the custom setting i want to decrease the size i can decrease it i am satisfied with this setting i click on the done icon and if i want to give a caption i can give a caption also here hit enter and here also we can change the background color suppose i want to make it white you see the background color has changed to white now and i want to make it black the original one it is black now and if i want to remove the background color completely i can click on this one so since it is black color you are still seeing the black color the background is also black color that's why we are not seeing any difference here and we can also pick a color to the background i want to make it blue i can click on this and then select this my background has changed to blue so this is the way we can make settings to our gif image the other tile setting that we wanted to cover is the air table tile setting in order to use the air table tile setting i will add another page i will say air table example click on this plus sign i have this air table icon here i'll drag and drop that into my presentation slide now it is asking me to paste the url of my air table air table allows you to run your most important business processes from tracking global marketing campaigns to managing your product roadmap all on a single platform it enables the workflow i have my air table project here this is an example project that i am using to demonstrate in order to share this example project project tracker on the tom slide i click on this share icon and here we have few options to share this air table project 
what we want to do is click on this share publicly option now i have this link that i can use to paste in my tom presentation it is saying click on this to copy the link i clicked on this it said link copy to your clipboard now i come to my tom presentation slide and here i can paste my airtable project link and hit enter we can see the project is appearing now the same project that we have seen in airtable only thing is we need to make sure that airtable link has appropriate privileges so that it can be displayed here hope you got value out of this video if you have any questions or suggestions please let us know in the comment section below thank you